Hi Libra and welcome to your general love reading for September 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. And because it is a general reading, it's not going to resonate with every single Libra out there. All right, so just take this message if it resonates with you and don't if it doesn't. All right, Libra, let's see. Also, if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And keep in mind that the roles can also be reversed because the reading is general. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2022. What is going on with you? Just one more shuffle. All right, let's see. <clears throat> for the situation, we have the Ace of Wands crossed by the star. Okay, um, there's either a new path here that you're wanting to take, and I feel like this has been showing up like crazy um, in like every single zodiac <laughs> almost. Um, there's either you wanting to take a new path or wanting to reconnect with somebody, one or the other. Either way, whatever this is that you're feeling a drive towards, or maybe the other person is, um, it seems like hope is actually the issue, you know, feeling that sense of faith or that sense of optimism that whatever, whatever this is, you know, that it can actually happen, that it can actually take off and move in that direction. Um, this is also Aquarius's energy, so some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, or you might have Aquarius strongly in your chart somewhere. Let's see. For you, we have the Moon. All right, so Pisces energy, Lovers, Gemini energy. Could be dealing with any of those signs. And the Empress. Wow, Libra. Why do I feel like you so often get like these really powerful readings? <laughs> um... Three major arcana cards for your energy, and then we also had a major arcana card here with the star. All right, so um, yeah, Pisces, Gemini, and Aquarius already showing up in your reading. I feel like you're coming either, you're coming out of a very, very like dark place um, where there may have been a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, a lot of um, maybe even illusions for some of you, like just not really knowing, not really being sure, feeling like you're just left in the dark or that you just don't know what is going on. I do see you at the moment, you're either in a position where you're trying to make a decision about love or there you're feeling some kind of a love connection coming in or you're just feeling this connection with somebody. I mostly feel like you're trying to make a decision here. Um, what I do see is you moving towards this Empress energy, like really feeling empowered and knowing that you can do whatever it is that you want to do. This is also abundance. This is creating, creating something new for yourself. So you're moving away from that um, darker energy. It's like discovering your power pretty much. And in the middle of that is some kind of a decision that you're making um, based in love. All right, let's see for another person here. The Page of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, let me just see the potential outcome before I say anything. For the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Wands. All right which is actually very, very positive. Um, okay, so there's a person here that I feel like, you know, while you were feeling this like dark energy or that you were having doubts, this is somebody who has um, felt enthusiastic towards you or has felt attracted to you or has wanted to move things in a particular direction. Although I, I feel like it just never really like moved forward in a very mature way possibly. Um, I do see this person now being, being in a very sad space. I feel like as you're coming out of that, as you're trying to make a decision, this pe person is feeling some regret or feeling some kind of 
grief or sadness. Um, however, there is love here. They are moving towards towards love or possibly even self-love if that's what was lacking um, on their side. But there's definitely, there is love here. And for the potential outcome with that Queen of Wands, I mean, I see this as being you, you know, really just like, just like I said for that Empress, you know, you really finding that inner Libra within you again, even though this doesn't represent Libra, but this is you finding your inner self. And really finding that motivation um, to do whatever it is that you want to do that you didn't have faith in before. Or, again, that could be your person. Um, but I just mostly see it as being you. Um, but it could be the other person here for the with this main situation and the um, and the potential outcome. But let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see that Ace of Wands with the star. The Ace of Wands. The star showing up again and the Ace of Cups. Lots of aces. And again, like I feel like that's been the case like overall. Did I say the star? It's not the star. Sorry, this is the moon here. All right, so it's the Ace of Wands, the moon, and the Ace of Cups, right? Yeah, lots of aces. We already have one, two, three, four out on the table. So yes, there's definitely um, a path here, a path that is opening up that is new. And like I said, it's been showing up like collectively. All right, so whatever this new path is, whatever this it's either a spark or may, it could even be an idea for some of you or just a new direction that you want to take possibly in relation to this decision that you're making. It has been very, very, um, I want to say scary. Like it's felt very um, unknown. Like you don't know what that's going to lead you to or, you know, you don't know what this new path is, um, what it's bringing forth. But what I do see here is that it's actually bringing in a brand new beginning in love as well, whether it be with this person or with somebody else. Um, we have that Ace of Wands twice. So this is this does talk about a reconnecting. But for whatever reason, I'm getting that for some of you, that's not what this is about. It's not really a reconnecting as much as it is a moving forward. Um, on whatever this new path is, and of course it could be with a particular person. Um, yeah, and it's all about having faith in that because you're feeling that drive. It's like your intuition is speaking to you to move in that particular direction and it's just a matter of you trusting that. And again, that could be about your person. Um, let's see. Let's see the moon for you. And there's a star. See, I said star before, and that's because the star actually um, wanted to to come out anyway. Um, so we have the moon twice, and we have the star twice. So that's also two times Pisces and two times Aquarius. All right, so we have the star and the two of cups. Yeah, this is definitely about a love connection here. Um, and I feel like, you know, this is something that maybe, you know, you this is something you really want or something that you really wanted. Um, but there's a lot of, there was a lot of uncertainty about this connection and possibly even about whether you want it or not. Um, for some of you and for others of you, it's like, yeah, you know, like I really, really wanted this. But now you're making this decision. Let's see the lovers. I feel like there's, there's been this guidance that's been with you this whole time. Like, um just guiding you in, in the right direction even through the dark times all right so for the lovers we have the knight of pentacles and the three of pentacles it's like this this decision um 
that you're trying to make here. I feel like it's been a work in progress for like a really long time. Um, it like you just keep coming back to this. Like there might be times where you escape it, um, but then you just come back to it. And I feel like right now, like you're on that path, like locked in that path, like, all right, you know what? Like, I really need to get myself into this Empress energy and you're, you're doing it. You're doing it. For some of you, it could be also that you're getting some assistance um, from someone, maybe a friend, or working together with somebody in this, maybe even with this person for some of you. But either way, what's important here is that I feel like, you know, you've set a goal and you're, and you're moving towards that. And it's been hard because you're coming out from that moon's energy, right? Where, where things may have seemed um, or may have been distorted and just felt very uncertain. And you're getting on this, this new path now. All right, so let's see the Empress. The Six of Wands and Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius also showing up. You're going to be successful here. I feel like, you know, you're you're moving towards finding your balance. Um, I'm getting that the message here for you is to just be patient with yourself. You know, there is no need to rush and that it's okay if this is something that you have come back to again and again and again, um, only to find yourself in the same position again and again. I feel like this time around it really is different, um, but you know, don't be too hard on yourself and just be patient with yourself because you are moving towards really being successful and achieving what it is that you want here. And the most important thing is you, you know, feeling good about your own self and feeling that sense of inner balance and inner peace. And in whatever way, you know, that might relate to this person down here. Or, I don't know, let's see. What is going on with this other person? Let's see that page of wands. The Ten of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Hmm. Interesting combination here. Um, I feel like this is somebody who um, did want something stable with you, who did want something in the long term with you, or maybe you were in a commitment with this person. Um, I'm getting that because it's an interesting combination with the Page of Wands and the King of Swords. It's almost like this is a person who may have so far presented themselves as maybe a little bit um, controlling but at the same time like immature because <laughs> there's something about them possibly being rigid especially in the way that they want things to be laid out or the way that they want things to be set up in terms of either the commitment or in terms of, you know, the the dynamic between the two of you, but then also there's this enthusiasm, but it, it almost comes in as being a little bit immature. And maybe this person wanted something new or wanted it to be different, but then like it just ends up being being the same as it was before or just their... Um, Yeah, like it, it's really weird because it's like, yeah, they're open to something new or wanting to, you know, having this drive and this enthusiasm, but then at the same time, like it has to be their way in some way. Almost as if they don't realize that that then it's happening their way. Okay. Whatever that is. <laughs> Let's see the five of cups. the queen of wands showing up here as well that's two times the queen of wands as well and the nine of pentacles so i don't know if there's someone else here in the picture for some of you 
Um, I, I definitely feel like that might be the case for some of you, but not for all of you. Um, I actually see this person um, grieving and feeling some kind of a regret because you are moving towards, you're now moving towards this Queen of Wands energy where you're empowering yourself. Um, and I feel like because, you know, you're, you're becoming more and more independent, the more that you focus on this decision that you're making, um, it's like you're finding your own, just your own sense, you're being more self-reliant rather than being dependent on this person. So I feel like you're just more independent. And this is actually making you more attractive to this person and so it's like now they're, they're they're feeling this grief they're feeling some regret um from whatever it is that may have happened in the past and wanting you even more than before because i don't get that they didn't want you not even that they thought that they didn't want you i'm not i'm not getting that at all i just feel like they were just kind of you know doing doing things their way, um, possibly maybe just not really taking you into consideration as much. Um, and it's like now, yeah, they're feeling this sense of independence from you and yeah. This person has a very strange energy, by the way. Um, all right, let's see that Ace of Cups. The Hanged Man and the Five of Swords. Yeah, see, really strange energy. I feel like this person is actually reconsidering love um, and reconsidering or looking at love from a different perspective, especially in terms of what may have been um, a little bit, a little bit self-serving in the past. Again, because I, I feel like, you know, maybe they weren't taking you so much into consideration for certain things or in certain aspects. So that's why that Five of Swords is there because, and, and the Hanged Man, seeing that from a different perspective. Um, so yeah, the love is there, but it's there in a very um, strange way, almost as if it's not like, I don't know, cultivated 100% yet. But it's like there is that potential though, right? If this person actually can get a grip on whatever it is that was happening here in the past. So yeah. Um, it is a potential, but who knows? Let's see, Queen of Wands. I, I feel like for you, you know, this is just all about you. What's important for you is to keep moving in that direction that you've been moving in. All right, let's see the Queen of Wands for the potential outcome. And we have the Three of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo. Virgo energy showing up here. Um, you, you're, you've definitely been through a lot, all right? You've definitely been through a lot, but I feel like that is what is empowering you, and I feel like that might be part of the lesson here. Um, whatever pain it is that you are going through or have gone through, and it's definitely been really hard to find that balance within yourself because of that, of that pain. Um, you're, you're coming out of that. You're definitely like, you've learned already so much about your own self through this connection. And I feel like spirit is saying here, you know, don't take that lesson for granted, you know, um, use that to your advantage because that's in some way helping you. It's helping you to really find your power, which you may not have been able to find it at this level if it wasn't for this connection. And I'm not saying this connection is necessarily over. That really depends. I feel like it's not clear here at all because it's going to be different for each of you. It really, really depends. Um, 
so yeah um, it does look good though it does look good for you um, for September here moving towards really finding your own sense of self and your self-empowerment all right Libra if this resonated please do give me a like and let's get any final message here for you. And we have intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests to the universe. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're making a decision and sticking to it. Focusing on what you really want. Be bold. All right, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.